So our lab is interested in vascular disease and how we can improve vascular surgical outcomes. And so we focus primarily in a condition termed intimal hyperplasia restenosis, which is basically just thickening of the vessel wall. And it's the most common complication after balloon angioplasty or stent or vessel bypass graft surgery. And currently we're f primarily focused on developing uh, biocompatible nanocarriers that we can target directly to the vessel wall. Uh, and use those nanocarriers to deliver drugs and therapeutic compounds to inhibit the hyperplastic response. When I decided research was what I wanted to do with my career, I knew that I didn't want to do research just for the sake of doing research or just because I love science, but I knew when I went on to continue my postgraduate career that I wanted to be in a lab that was more closely tied to a clinical department where the focus would be a little bit more forward thinking and uh, have a true um, potential for clinical impact. And so when I came here, it was the perfect fit. That's exactly what I had found. The uh, lab is a translational lab where the research is very clinically focused and the attending physicians that are involved in the lab are very uh, interested in the research aspect of medicine and bringing new technologies into the, into the clinic. So it was a perfect fit. Vascular disease is a very common uh, condition in our society and um, vascular surgical procedures are actually some of the most common surgical procedures in our country. And, but up to 60% of those interventions can fail within the first year uh, due to this hyperplastic response that we are studying in the lab. And so our overarching goal uh, in the lab is to change that statistic. We want to reduce that number and improve outcomes and really uh, decrease the need for repeat surgical interventions. We really just want to improve the quality of life of our vascular patients by uh, reducing the occurrence of uh, adverse outcomes and, and improving their, their uh, intervention outcome. I love to cook. Um, it's said that scientists make the best chefs, and I don't know about that, but I do love to be in the kitchen and putting a meal together for my family. It's very much like being in the lab and putting an experiment together. Um, I am married and I have two kids. I have a nine-year-old son and a five-year-old little girl. Um, and so in my free time, which I don't have a lot because I have two young kids, uh, we love to travel and sightsee and do that sort of thing. Um, but really just I'm a mother first, and so when I'm not in the lab and they're not in school, whatever they're doing is what I want to do, whether that means we're in the middle of basketball season or tennis season or wherever they are, that's where I am. So.